Hi Pisces, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for December 20th through the 26th. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Pisces, let's see what's going on for you for the week ahead. A little peek in, see what's going on. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, Jupiter. Any heavy Pisces placements, male or female? We should get two there. General collective reading. So please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to. So please feel free to do that. Cross watchers, you are welcome. Could be reading for you, messages for you. Please do keep that in mind. So welcome in, Pisces. Welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Hope you all have a wonderful or are having a wonderful holiday season. Merry Christmas or happy holidays, however you celebrate. All right, Pisces. Everything you need to know is down below in the description box. So you can check that out if you would like to. Your playlists are down there. All your December readings are up as well as your yearly 2022 forecast. That is up also. You can check that out if you would like to. And um, there are some polls on the community tab if you'd like to head on over there and vote on uh, readings you'd like to see, uh, days, times for publications, things like that. So feel free to do that also. As of now, the schedule is Saturday morning to 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the weekly readings for the week ahead. And the monthlies, I'm trying my best to get those out on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, unfortunately this week. Couldn't make it happen with my daytime full-time job and trying to do this and not feeling 100% this past week. I couldn't really make it happen this week, but your January readings will be going out through the week, so keep an eye open for that. All right, Pisces, let's see. We have recovery, so recuperating from something, resting, rejuvenating, kind of four swords energy there. And we have get more information. Now I've seen this, um, that came out for, it was either Capricorn, or cancer. I don't remember, but um, okay, let's see where this is going. And we have B. So we have 32, which is five, which is about change. Now B is about, we have air energy, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, bees work together in groups. So this could be um, your work environment. This could be um, it could be friends, it could be community, it could be your work situation, friends, family, working together. Bees all work together as one to form their colony. And we have Lady of the Mirror, reflection and non-judgment. And we have 44. Four is a very stable, grounded energy. I'm kind of feeling like here, Pisces, you may have some talk going around in your workspace or your uh, community or where you live or something like that or your social social circles maybe you're you know maybe you're out on leave or maybe you're out you know it could be sick leave it could be maybe you've gone away on a little retreat or you've done something and I feel like people are trying to find out what happened to you where did you go what are you doing and there could be like rumors going around circulate that's kind of what i'm feeling here i mean it doesn't have to be like it does say reflection and non-judgment so I, I feel like people are reflecting on why you are doing what you're doing or something that has happened to you or you're going through and they're trying to get more information um i, I don't know that may not be for everybody but uh, or maybe this is someone around you also all right let's see what is going on for Pisces? <clears throat> Just be careful of, you know, with the B card, I wouldn't say it's, you know, it could be, you know, jealousy or something like that. Um, but usually, was that number 32? I just want to look this up real quick. Um, I take that as, you know, people working together, but hey, you never know. Let's see industry cooperation and working collectively so but i'm getting the energy of you know maybe people you work with wondering what you're doing why you're doing what you're doing where are you what's going on kind of coming up with their own conclusions trying to get more information 
and I feel like you're resting, recuperating, recovering, maybe from an illness, surgery, I don't know, a uh, health issue of some kind. Okay, it's way too many. All right, for Pisces. Five of Swords. You could have went through just a very um, trying time right now, you know, emotionally, mentally, you know, maybe some big, big change you've just gone through, maybe a little bit of depression, uh, maybe a little bit of some sort of battle, you know, could have been with friends, family, a lover, um, some sort of traumatic, not traumatic, but some sort of event here that happened for you. Um, it's kind of like a battle or something like that. So let's see where this is going. Definitely could see why you're recovering from that. The moon. So very secretive energy. So I feel like you didn't tell a lot of people what was going on with you. And this is you, Pisces. So not that you were secretive, but whatever battles you were fighting, you know, it could have been in your home. It could have been with friends, family. It could have been in a relationship. I feel like you didn't really tell a lot of people what you were going through. And that's why they're all questioning, where did she go? Where, where did they go? What are they doing? What happened? And they could be jumping to their own conclusions and spreading rumors. That's kind of what I'm feeling. So you may need to kind of, I don't know, put these rumors to rest but you know the moon here can be about secrets illusions um can be about intuition that is you pisces so i feel like there's so, there was something definitely going on with you that was major for you that you kept under wraps you didn't really tell anyone what you were going through what you were doing and you may be out on a little bit of a leave or vacation or something here and they're all questioning what is going on pisces knight of swords so this could happen all like out of the blue like happen all of a sudden all at once and it just starts very fast energy here we have aquarius energy now so something abruptly happened i feel with you in your life which caused you to have to withdraw your energy back and i don't think you really told a lot of people what was going on here yeah two of swords you see two people kind of battling there so this is going to be about a partnership but things are getting better. So things will get better here. Wheel of Fortune. So we have Sagittarius here, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So fate, destiny, divine timing. Things getting better, going in the right direction. Things moving forward. So you're moving forward through this. Things are starting to clear up. Things are starting to get better. You're starting to see the resolve of the situation. Even through the conflict. A lot of conflicting energy here. So it could have been a court battle. It could be divorce. It could be something here. Ten of Wands, very overwhelming energy. So, you know, it could be that whatever you were going through, it was, you know, too tense. So definitely completion. So the completion of a tough cycle here that was very overburdening, overwhelming, um, really, really weighed you down. So it's coming to a close here. And I think things are going to start to get better. So maybe able to return to your daily life again. All right. What else here for Pisces? Queen of Swords. So this could be usually somebody can be divorced. It's been through a lot. So you, you, I think you went through a lot. Maybe the past ten weeks, ten months. Um, for some, maybe since October, this past October. This is Libra energy here with the Queen of Swords. So, I mean, Libra does represent justice. So some of you could have gone through some legal battles or something like that. This could be a lawyer, a judge, a counselor, a therapist. It could be you. You've been through a lot. So now you're feeling kind of, you know, on guard. Your sword is up, you know, a little cold, detached. Um, been through a lot. So you are definitely are there. So it could have been here. Let's see. We have the Ten of Cups. The page of swords and the seven of wands so i mean this could have been revolving around a family you know was happy at one time um but the page of swords i think that people see i'm almost getting it like this way people are trying to spy on you to figure out what is going on in your family life your personal life that's that's kind of what i'm feeling here this page of swords could be aquarius so we have a lot of aquarius energy showing up here in libra 
But then we have the Seven of Wands. So I feel like you're kind of protecting yourself. You're putting a wall up. You're not really telling a lot of people. You don't want rumors to spread. But because you're not really telling anyone either, I think rumors are going to start circulating anyway. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Because people are trying to figure out what is going on with Pisces. What's going on over there? And you're like, I'm just not telling you. I'm keeping the wall up, protecting myself. Oh boy, Pisces. But again, whatever you're going through, I think it's coming to a close. And things are going to definitely start to get better for you. You feel a little, you know, rough and tattered, beat up. You know, a little worn out, beat up. And, you know, you've been through, I feel like you've been through a tough cycle here. Hierophant. Again, it could have been about a marriage, Taurus energy, some sort of commitment or marriage that you were in. But you're rebuilding here with the Three of Pentacles. Definitely withdrawing your energy here as you're working through the situation here. Definitely is what I feel. But you're going to start to feel like your old stuff again. This is Queen of Cups. For me, it's Cancer, but it could be you, Pisces, Water Sign, Eight of Cups. So definitely somebody could have left a situation in your life. Could have been a lover. Maybe you lost a family friend, a family member, a friend, or something like that. But uh, new exciting times are on the horizon for you. So I don't think you're going to feel melancholic for too long. Down the road, something exciting will be coming in for you. We do have the Ace of Cups there. So Brandon will be getting in love. Maybe next summer you can meet somebody. Maybe a fire sign. Queen of Pentacles. So definitely could have been married. Capricorn energy here. Six of Pentacles probably was not an equal give and take situation. We do have the King of Cups. I feel like you could have been, um, maybe some of you either married to a earth sign or air sign. And you could be getting ready here to meet uh, maybe a fellow water sign. I did see the King of Cups here. Pis and that is you, Pisces. So definitely you've been through some tough ending here with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, a lot of lies, deceit, sneaky behavior really hard time you've just been through you've been through the ringer again the nine of wands but um pisces things are going to get better things are going to get better just be careful how you're handling your friends your family your co-workers because i think they're trying to figure out what's going on with you so they may be spreading things around that aren't true so i mean you may need to um shed light on the situation you know queen of swords here can put her sword up tells it like it is truthful communication doesn't back down cuts out energy no longer serving so you may need to um kind of put any lies to rest especially if you know things are being said about you that aren't true or they're making people are making their own judgments like what's going on with pisces but rest assured things are going to get better with that 10 uh with the wheel all right. Definitely a challenging, difficult time for you, Pisces. But let's see. What else here for Pisces? Let's get you some advice and guidance. It could be this is the week of returning back to work. Um, or shortly after the holiday season. Or maybe the beginning of the new year. The Wheel of Fortune can indicate that. We do have the four seasons here. Start, starting with the winter at the top, which we are in right now. So maybe, you know, you've been out and maybe beginning of the new year, you're going to head out back to work. So just be careful, um, tread lightly, because I don't know if um, things are being said about you. I mean, this may not resonate for everyone. It seems like a very specific message for someone. All right, Pisces. So we have fertility. It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, assess new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. So definitely a new start in your life. Definitely could have been, um, you know, married, family situation here. Uh, but, you know, you're going to have some growth and expansion coming in the future. And look at this. We do have true love here. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So I feel like... You know, you're building a new life for yourself. This is kind of like Empress energy to me. So you definitely could be uh, a parent. But I feel like down the road for you, I, I don't feel like, I feel like it could be maybe next summer. You may meet somebody and this could actually be your one true love. Pisces. 
Wow. All right, Pisces, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped. I hope that resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Again, don't forget to go vote on the polls if you would like to. All your December readings are out in your 2022 reading. And your uh, last week of December readings will be coming out next weekend. And watch for January readings to be coming out throughout the week. And I'll try to get them done as quick as I can. All right, Pisces, best of luck to you. And I shall see you next time.